Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an unboxing for you from Mina Bay. I absolutely love Mina Bay products. I have had them in the past. Uh, I, I will put some links up above or down below for you to check out some of those reviews and videos that I have done. So today I have an unboxing for one of their smaller bags. Uh, this is going to be the Mini Harper. Now I have had this particular bag before and I loved it. It was just one of those ones I wasn't using at the time and unfortunately I let go of. But uh, recently I decided to give them another go because I'm looking for a little backpack to wear out and about that fits my things in nicely and is really beautiful quality and just looks classy. Without any ado, here is the bag right here. It did come wrapped in tissue wrap. It just fell off. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't keep it on there to take a picture or to show you guys. But it does come in a nice dust bag. So I'll show you what color I got. The other color I used to have, I think was, I want to say it was sand. And it was like a lighter kind of grayish, grayish color. But this one, I decided to get a different color. Now this bag is a um, full grain leather. So let me show you here. All right, so here it is here. I got it in the black. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh. oh, it smells so good. <laughs> I think this bag just looks beautiful in black. It's such a classic look and that's what I was after. I wear a lot of like greens and blues and things. So I figured this would look really good with even summer and winter winter things. So here it is here. You have the Mina Bay logo kind of embossed in there. It's got the foil there. Nice long leather zipper pull. Okay, so behind they do have they did put some foam back there. All right. And then here's their tag right here as well. One thing I do notice straight away is that one I used to have didn't have these little D rings at the top. So this one does have the little D rings. So you can attach a messenger strap on here. Um, I didn't buy a messenger strap because I already have a whole bunch of messenger straps and things here anyways from other bags. So I didn't feel like I needed to do that. The backpack straps do adjust with knobs, which is kind of cool. And I think this is different down here too. I don't know, I'm gonna have to go back and watch my old video. <laughs> Uh, but that does attach on the side here. The hardware is really nice. There's a back zipper compartment that goes all the way down the bottom of the bag. And then in the front here, there's a magnetic pocket here that has a tab that closes the pocket. And then opening this, it just goes straight across. Now here is a clip, it's clipped on the side. And there is also a pocket here that is neoprene lined, or oh, it was. Oh, it's not, it's not anymore. <laughs> okay, maybe it wasn't on the mini. I know it was on the regular one. So this is actually just a nylon lining inside there. Cause this is kind of designed to be like a purse as well, right? Which is what I'm gonna use it for. Oh, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna take the stuff out of the inside real quick. Okay, so there's the inside right there. I love the organization of this bag. If you wanted to use this as a mini diaper bag, it is so good. I did use it when my kids were younger as a mini diaper bag because you can fit so much in here. So there is a slip pocket at the back here that is padded. There's a zipper pocket in front of that. There's leather trimmed. Then there's a bigger pocket that goes straight across the back there. And then on either side, there are pockets. Now these aren't uh, insulated. They don't feel insulated. They're just pockets. And then in the front, it's the same, there's another large, less kind of elastic pocket. And then in the front of the bag, there is another zip pocket. So if I feel like that might be a little different. I don't, I honestly don't remember. I don't remember what the inside of the other one, my first one look, was like exactly. <laughs> but um, it's, it's, it's cool, it's really cool. I do have my bag that I was using today, so I can quickly put my stuff in here to kind of show you how it fits real quick, okay? I'm lazy. <laughs> you gonna buzz me my bag? Come on. Is it heavy? Okay. <laughs> All right, so this is the bag I'm using today. I have done a reveal, um, an unbox, you know, and a reveal of this bag. I love it, love it, love it, love it. It's just so good. This is a Coach Lily Carriol, Mini Lily Carol. So, I mean, as you can see, there's a huge size difference, but 
Um, what I like about this is that I can put a little water bottle. With it being so hot, my daughters keep asking me if I have water with me and because I'm usually using smaller bags, I keep having to say, no, I don't, I'm sorry. Um, but with this one, I can put a water bottle in there. Um, even, even though it's leather, it's not very heavy, so that's kind of nice. All right, that's my very few things that I carry. So I am filming with my phone, so my phone I'd probably just put in this front pocket here, honestly, or I'd have it in my pocket, or you know, or I could even put it in the back zip pocket as well. Now, in the center here, I mean, I've got my um, mini pochette, so I could put that in one of those pockets, but either one, probably in the back pocket. You know and put that one in the back pocket there it fits perfectly across there actually that's really cool and then i've got my key clay so i could probably put that in probably put my key clay in my wallet in the front long pocket i'd say um ironically i don't access my wallet a lot because i have a tap and pay <laughs> you know technology these days uh mini wipe pouch so i'd probably put that in that zip pocket at the back which goes about, well, goes most, most of the way down the bag. And that goes in there perfectly. And then I have a mask, which I would probably stuff that in the front pocket, to be honest, because I've got to get that, like in this pocket, I've got to get that out all the time. Okay, so there isn't any key leash in here that I can see. And then, oh, it smells, I can I just keep smelling the leather. And I got my keys. I put those in that this front zipper pocket, my keys. And then my wallet and my key clay, I might pop in that one of the side pockets. The longer pockets do stay against the bag, so that's not so bad. But I think I just use one and then have the other one just stay against the bag like that. And then I could put my water bottle on the other side, like over here. Uh, and then it's nice to have some room so then when you're out and about, you can just throw things in. And I do remember this was very easy to get on and off my back because of the way this handle is. This handle is a nice rolled handle. See how where it's stitched into the back of the bag? It's reinforced with this strip of leather here. So it is really strong and it is easy to get on and off. So that just looks so pretty. All right, I may have to do some on the body shots for you guys. The bottom does have, have feet. So that's really nice as well. All right, so what do you think? Do you like them? Do you like this? I think it's so pretty. I just sit here all day and smell it. <laughs> it just smells so good. Well, I decided to join me. So if you are interested in anything Mina Bay, like the Mini Harper or checking out any of their other products, um, I do invite you to shop with me via my affiliate link that I will put below. I will be honest and say that I do earn a very small commission off that link and it would mean a lot to me if you were interested in checking out Mina Bay that you did consider using that link. Uh, but of course, no pressure. I just thought I'd mention it. <laughs> All right. So I better go guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. And yeah, and I'll talk to you next time. Say bye, Clara. Now they can see. Say bye. Bye. Have a good day. Have a good day. Don't get too hot. Not too hot. <laughs> bye guys.